What is up guys, it is Muskie and I am here with a tutorial or a mod spotlight. So this spotlight we're going over applied energistics. This is a pretty cool mod that you can do a lot of stuff with like in mod packs like Feed the Beast which I am in right now. You can automate stuff, it's a great way of storage. So let's get right into this mod spotlight. So here is the most basic uh, I guess most most basic form of storage. So this is called an ME chest. There you go. So an ME chest. It is crafted like. Hold on, let me figure. ME chest crafted like this. So it's some iron, some chest, some glass, and a conversion matrix. So these conversion matrix are used in many recipes with uh, AE. So these conversion matrixes are used with flux dust, some more iron, some certus quartz, which is found in the ground, some ME basic processors, and some other quartz. So these basic processors need to be smelted from a basic processor assembly. These assemblies are made by like this. So silicone, you can make certus quartz and just smelt it like that. And then you can make a quartz cutting knife. So this has 50 uses, so it does not disappear right away. You can make it like this, so it's not that hard to do. So, what you're going to need here is a little thing in the corner. So it should be like this when you make it, a blank kind of thing. But what you're going to need is an ME storage uh, card, I guess. So here you can, here's the recipe for this. So you're going to need a storage cell, and it's going to look like this, which uses one of these basic processors, which is, of course, crafted like this. So these are a very important part of ME, because this is what all your stuff is stored on. So you can put it in here, and you can see it's a 0 of 1,024 bytes used, and that's a 0 out of 63 types. So if I put in a import bus, which we'll get into later, it says 9 out of 1,024 bytes used. So depending on the item, it, it uh, changes the bytes used. And one type, so 63 types, out of, it's only one type. So you can have up to 63 different items. But you can upgrade these. So here's the 1K, there's 16K, there's 64Ks, and there's 4K. So here's a 4K which uses the same thing but a storage segment which is three storage cells so it gets pretty a lot of gold and stuff so all of ME actually uses power so here I am using high voltage a high voltage solar array which is IC2 power you can also use build craft power so here is kind of what looks like a more complicated more complicated ME system. So this ME system uses an ME controller which has an interface here and it is crafted like this. So you're gonna need these flux crystals and an advanced processor which is like this. So these flux crystals are like this. You need some certus quartz, nether quartz, and redstone and those are crafted like that. This is kind of the heart of your ME system. This is pretty much what brings it all together and it all works together. This is an ME drive, so this is kind of like your ME chest, I guess. It, uh, <coughs> excuse me. It holds your drives, so here I have a 64K storage. So it kind of holds all your stuff. This also uses power. And the more stuff you have connected to the ME system, the more power it takes. So you might need more and more power. So this here is an ME access terminal. So these can all connect if they're touching part of the ME system. This is an ME access terminal. So I have some, some stuff here. You can put it in and out. So this is what, ac what gets accessed from the drive. So this here, this big thing, is a uh, ME Auto Crafter. So th this is a pretty big one. You, it doesn't need to be this big. It could be smaller. But this is how you make it. So you have the outsides are these containment walls, which are crafted like this. So it's 
a lot of gold and iron. Then in the middle, kind of like this, you're going to need ME heat vents, which are crafted like this. So some more iron, which is made with ME cables. So ME cables are a very important part too. It can be made so it connects all your ME stuff together. So ME cable needs flux dust, which is crafted like this. Another quartz dust, surge quartz dust, and redstone. So there you go. And then the insides, you're going to need half ME pattern providers and half ME crafting CPUs. So these ME pattern providers are crafted like this. ME advanced processor, a storage cell, a conversion matrix, and a crafting table. So you're going to need quite a few of these if you're going to make a bigger one of these. It doesn't have to be this big. So here's a crafting CPU. So if I finish this one off here, you can just finish it off like this here and like this here. Shift click. Those do have an interface and that will be important later. So we can throw on the vents and it will turn into this multi-block structure. And you can see this is ME cable here. And I just used it from the controller and I connected it to the containment uh, auto crafter. So if you go into here, you can see that it is online. Uh, this is all the stuff that is connected to the ME network. So you can see the heat vents, the, all the crafting stuff, and it is using more power. So this basically can be used for auto crafting, but to auto craft, you can use this ME pattern encoder. This ME pattern encoder here can be made to make patterns. So you're going to need these ME blank patterns, which are crafted like this. And you're going to go ahead and say you want to make sticks. So it's two wood, and you can make sticks. So you can just click encode here. So there we go. And you can just take this and put it right in here. So see, you can have 24 pages of those. And you'll see why you can use that many. So there we go, sticks. So in the wireless or the access terminal here, it says craft. So we can throw in some wood. And if you click on the craft, let's say we want to make 10. So you can do plus 10, begin. And there you go, it makes 12. So it makes, if you want to make 10, it will make over it because it doesn't, it's not like an even number that sticks make. So once we got past that, uh, I have some ME cable going over here with this crazy machine. Now, this isn't actually that crazy. This is uh, a very nice way of automating production. So this is a great way of what ME can do with your production. Uh, I'm actually going to need some iron ore, some iron, let's grab some of this and a piece of iron. Okay, so in here we can just click clear to get that out of there. So say you want to make iron ingots. So you have iron ore, you click it right in there, but nothing pops up because, well, it's not regular crafting, it's with an electric furnace. So you got to take your iron ingot put it right in here and you click encode so what we have here is an ME interface which you can craft like like this one of these conversion matrix some ME cable so what you're going to do is click on here and you can just throw this pattern in here and it will show you what it makes so if you go in here and you throw in some iron ore and you click craft, let's make let's make four iron ingots. So if you go back over here, it threw in four iron ore and it's smelting it up. Now you're gonna need a ME basic import bus, which is made like this. So you're gonna make an interface, some cable, sticky piston. And this basically takes the stuff from the electric furnace back into the ME system. 
as you can see we have three and now we have four iron ingots this is really cool because it became made into basically automatic crafting and can do everything for you so here it has like a little bit of uh, of an interface so you can do sort by name number of items priority item ID item name sort order is toggle sorting selection so you can do up or down view you can do stored slash craftable or you can do stored items so if you take out the iron it won't show the crafting you can do craftable so it's only the crafting items you can do stored slash craftable, which if you take out the iron, then you can craft it. So here's a search box mode, standard. So any synchronized, so you can do both. So if say search it in the sorry, you search it in the ME terminal here, it's a search bar, it will search in the uh NEI too. So that's pretty cool. You can also do any synchronized standard, auto search, standard search. But one other thing that you can do is, let's get this back up. You can make a wireless network. So if you grab a, a, where is it here, hold on. You're going to need a wireless access terminal here, which just actually uses energy. So you're going to need a source of power, just like IC2. You're going to need a wireless access point. And there you go. So we can stick this right on the ME system, and this will connect here. As you can see, now it shows that it has a wireless access point. So this access point here you're gonna have to link up the access terminal, wireless access terminal with the controller. So you go into the controller interface, click it here, and it says linked. So here you can walk away, you can click on this and look at that. You have your wireless thing right here. So this doesn't doesn't really have that is squids and oil. So that's a pretty big range right there. You can get all the way out to like here. So as you can see that can be very useful. But there are also upgrades. Here's some wireless boosters which are made like this. So you can stack them up to 64 I guess. Or no 16. You can put 16 into there and it will make this even longer so you can go like all the way out to here and you will still have signal so that is pretty cool you can wirelessly access this so the next thing is connecting ME you can connect ME systems by some crazy cool stuff you're gonna need some quantum field rings and a quantum link chamber so here is an ME con condenser. So you're going to need this. This crafted like this. Pretty simple. And you're going to need a storage cell in the middle here. And basically what this does is you can make ME. Uh, this, this makes singularities. So you can make it into a singularity here. You can destroy the items so you can delete them or you can make them into matter balls. So we're gonna make a singularity here and what we can do here is throw some cobblestone in it. Throw some cobblestone in this little kinda garbage can guy and it will bring this up. So 256,000 items needed to make a singularity. So it definitely does take a lot of items but once you have all those items it will give you a one of these a singularity so what you're going to want to do with this singularity you need an ender pearl dust so you can just crush up some ender pearls and you're going to need tiny TNT which is made like this and you're going to need flint and steel so what you're going to want to do is throw your ender pearl dust and singularity on the ground 
Throw some tiny TND now next to it, light it up with flint and steel, back up a little bit, and let it blow up. So there you can see it blew up, and we have two quantum entangled singularities. So this can be used to connect ME systems without ME stuff, or cable, I mean. So here we can make a ME field ring. So you're just going to make one, a circle with these quantum field rings, which are made like this. You're going to need an energy cell, which is made like this. And you're going to need one quantum link chamber. Let's use some Fluix pearls, which is crafted like this. So you can throw this in the middle. It will make a interface here. You can grab some cable, and it will connect up like this. And what you're going to want to do is throw one of these quantum entangled singularities into it. And what you can do, these work through dimensions too. So if you have like a Mysticraft dimension and you want to make that, then you can do that. So you want to throw your corresponding quantum entangled here. And what you can do is get an interface here. Uh, nope, access terminal. Terminal here. You can get a crafting terminal, which is this is another part of ME. You can throw it down next to it. Oh. Okay, well this should work. This, this is supposed to be working. Oh! Actually, you have to power these. Sorry, you have to power these. You have to actually give a good amount of power. So let's get an energy cell. These do suck up a good amount of power. Nope. Let's get an energy cell. Uh, let's grab a resonant ener energy cell. We can throw it down right next to it. We can set the output to this. So this should be gaining power. So it's gonna got those like little particle effects here. And you can throw some power into this guy. I believe this works. Oh, was it orange? Yep. So orange is the output. We're gonna go set this to output too. So it lights up like this, and these are now connected. So you can put in one of your terminals here, and it is pretty much an extension to your wireless network. So you're getting all that stuff over here. In this crafting terminal, it just has a little crafting thing on it. So that is pretty, pretty cool. Now, the last thing I want to show you is... Applied energistics here uh, is a grindstone. So what you're going to need is a grindstone, which is crafted like this. Not that hard to do. And you're going to need a crank or a wooden crank, which is just crafted like this. So this is just a standalone thing. Here's the interface. And if you want to throw in some of this iron ore we had earlier into the grindstone throw the wooden crank on top and you can just sit here and right click it and it will actually pulverize the ore into twice as much so you can just keep right clicking it keep going keep going keep going keep going there we go we have two pulverized iron dust and then you can go smelt that into ingots so that seems like that is it for this mod spotlight. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you guys have any questions, uh, put them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them for what I have not gone through today. So again, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you later.